Hey everyone, Shane here from freetechtutorials.com. I'm here today bringing you a 20th Java tutorial. In this tutorial today, we're going to be looking at how to return data from a method. So this far, when using methods, we've only ever asked a method to perform some type of action. Like you can see here, we're using this method to print out hello to our user. And while that's great, we can also use methods to return some type of data or value back to our main method so that we can use it in our program. And so one of the things we need to look at to do that is look at this method declaration here. So this seems pretty standard for what we've been doing so far. We've got public, static, void, and the name of our method. What we need to look at here is this void keyword. So what the void keyword tells Java is that with this method, we're not returning anything back to our main method. So it's just a void return type. Nothing's being returned. To return something back, we have to tell Java what type of data type of information we're going to be returning back. And so we can change this to something like int if we're going to return an integer back or a number. We can change it to string if we're returning some type of text. And so that's how we tell Java what to expect, the uh, what type of data to expect to come back from our method. So for an example here, what we're going to do is we're going to create a little program that is going to figure out the taxes. The It takes the gross of, let's say, some type of payment figure out the taxes and gives the subtotal. So this might, might be useful for like a private business owner that has to manage paying their own taxes. So let's say they do work for a client, they get paid a certain dollar amount. Um, at the end of the year, they're gonna owe taxes on all of their income. So they need to keep track of how much taxes they owe so they can set that aside and pay it at the end of the year. So we're gonna build a little program that might help someone do that. So let's go ahead and get rid of our method here and we'll start fresh. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get the total amount that the person is being paid. So we'll go ahead and create a variable and store the information and we'll just call that gross. So it's the total amount. Gross amount is before any taxes or deductions or anything like that. And let's say they got paid $800 for a job that they did. Okay, the next thing we need to do is we need to figure out what, how much tax are we going to be calculating? So the user might say, well, their tax rate might be uh, 20%. So we'll create a double actually here because in programming, we have to present things in, there's really no percent um, variable type. So we have to data type. So we have to present in a decimal. So we know that 20% um, is equal to 0.2. So we're going to set the tax to 0.2 and actually let's call this tax rate. Tax rate is 0.2, which is 20%. Okay, so now with those two pieces of information, we can do a calculation to figure out how much tax 20% would be on $800. So we're going to create a method to do that calculation for us. So we'll go down here outside of our main method, but still in our class to create our method. And we'll do public static and then this time, since we're going to be returning a value back, we need to put what type of data um, Java can ex expect from our method. So we're going to do a type of double. Um, that way, if there's if the calculation brings back any decimal points, it'll be the proper data type. And then we're going to name this here. So we'll name it taxes owed. And then we have to pass in the numbers we need to do our calculation. And so we're going to pass in the gross. And so we know it's going to be a type of int. And we're going to pass in the tax rate. So that's a double. And remember in your methods, these, when you're calling a method or when you're adding these um, parameters in, they don't have to be named the same thing as your other variables that you're going to use. But sometimes it can be handy to name them the same. It just uh, helps you stay, stay organized. And so in here, in our method, we are going to do the calculation. So we know that to get the tax rate on this, we're going to have to take the gross and multiply it by the tax rate. So, and we're going to return that back to our program. So what we do here is we actually, we can do it two ways. You can either create a variable inside of your method. So we can try that. Let's do double um, total tax owed equals gross times tax rate. And then what we can do is we can write a return statement here. So to, to return a data to return data back, like we said, we have to tell it what type of data to expect, but we have to tell it what to return. So we do that by using the return keyword. So we're going to return 
and we're going to turn this variable total tax owed. All right, so that's one way that we can we can do this here. Now, there's kind of an extra step in here that we actually don't have to do. We've created a variable here and told the method to return the value of that variable back to our main method. But we actually don't even have to create a variable. So we can actually just do this. If we copy our calculation here, we can get rid of that um, variable and just use the calculation right here. We can just tell it, hey, take gross times it by the tax rate and return that value. And we can return that to our main method by using the method call. So let's create a new variable here. This will be a double and we're gonna do total tax owed. And we're gonna set that equal to our method call. So this might be kind of confusing, but just hang in there with me. We're gonna call our gross as our arguments and our tax rate. All right, so what we, as we know, because we've done it before, um, this right here is a method call. So this, we know, Java knows that when we do this, it want, we want it to find the me method, whatever the name is, tax owed, oops, tax is owed, and then pass in these arguments into these parameters and then do whatever it needs to do inside this method. But now because we have set a return and a return type, what actually happens when this runs, this whole statement here turns into whatever the value is. So if it's 800 times 2, 20% of 800 would be 160. Once this is called, this actually behind the scenes turns into that value. So total tax owed will now actually be equal to 160. So let's go ahead and check that and see if we're right in that. So let's have an output statement here. And we'll just print out total tax owed. And let's see what that gives us. 160, there we go. So what's happening here is our we put the method call right here. So it's taking taxes owed. So it goes down here, the taxes owed method. It passes in the gross, which is $800. It passes, it tass, ta, ugh, it passes in the tax rate, which is 20%. And it says multiply the gross by the tax rate and return that value. So this right here, this call right here, now turns into that number. So no, now total tax owed is now 160. And so we do this print line, and that's what we get. We get 160, and that's what prints out. So what if now, now that we have this data returned back and we can use it inside of our main method, we can actually do other things with it. So we can use it in other methods now if we want to. So what if now we wanted to automatically subtract the tax from the gross and get the net. Basically get what the um, business owner gets to keep minus the taxes that they're gonna have to owe. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and just get rid of this here and let's create another method down here. So we're gonna do public static and we're gonna return a, a value out of this one as well. So we'll do double again and we'll do, how about subtotal or let's do net net total and in this one we are going to pass in two parameters again or pass in two arguments so we need two parameters here and this time what we're going to do is we're going to take the gross which we know is an int and we're also going to pass in now we're going to pass in this total tax since we know what the tax owed is we're going to subtract that from the gross so let's pass in the total tax owed Make sure to give it a data type here, double. And then we can do our calculations. And if you notice right now, we're getting a uh, red underline here, an error, and it says this method, method must return a result of type double. So the reason it's freaking out right now is we don't have a return statement in this method yet. Even though we've told it, hey, I'm gonna be re returning a, a value that's a double, um, we don't have a return statement yet, so that's why we're getting this error. So as soon as we re use a return statement, that error will go away. And what we want to return is we want to return the difference between the gross and the tax that we owe. So we're going to return gross minus total tax owed. 
so that we can get the total amount of profit after we pay taxes on it. We'll just move this down to clean it up a little bit. All right, so now we can call this method and get that data back. So we'll go ahead and assign this to a variable as well. So we'll say double net income is going to be equal to, and then we call our method net total. We pass in our arguments here of gross and total taxes owed. And so now we have this net income here, which would be our gross minus our total taxes that we owe. Uh, did I spell it wrong? Total tax owed, there we go. And then now we can put this information out to our user if we want. So we'll do system.out. Print line. And then let's see. So let's go ahead and do, um, let's say, we'll put out all the information. So we'll say gross is, we'll add our variable gross. So that's the total amount. And then let's do a new line character here. So that it moves down to the next line for us. And we're going to say next, let's do um, total tax owed. Total tax. We'll add our variable. And then we'll do another new line character. And finally, we're going to do the net and add our net income variable. So we should get with this is we should get the word gross and then what our total starting amount is, then the total tax, which should be the amount of tax that we owe, and then the net, which should be the difference of the two. And oh, just missed capitalization here. There we go. So let's go ahead and run this and let's see what happens. There we go. Formatting is a little bit off, but that's fine. So we've got our gross, which is our initial amount. Our total tax is $160 in tax. And the difference between those two is our net, which is $640. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope that made a little more sense for these return types. Um, it can be really, really useful to use returns from methods and use that data in your, in your program, in your main method to do other things with. Either pass into other methods like we did here, put it out to your user, do more calculations on it, whatever you need to do. So hope it's made sense. If you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, check out my website at freetechtorials.com. I've got some great exercises and videos on there for you, and I'll catch you guys next time.